Hey y'all, it's Taco Tuesday and I've been getting a few things out to make some pico de gallo and some guacamole together to go with our Mexican lasagna we have in the oven that we made earlier together and that will be in a separate video in the description box and I might try to get it sticking around here on the end of this video so you can click it and I think I've got everything so I hopped on here with y'all. I've got some cilantro and the reason why I'm going to make guacamole too with pico de gallo is because if you make pico de gallo you are like over halfway towards your guacamole seriously so that's what we're going to do I've got limes and jalapenos and salt tomatoes grape tomatoes I did pre-wash these and the container and I put them back in here okay so everything is clean I just want you to know I want you to know so first we're going to start with pico de gallo and do y'all know that pico de gallo means beak of rooster in Spanish <laughs> right um I love a purple onion in my pico and in my guacamole just for the pop of color but you certainly could use a yellow onion these are Vidalia mm, they're out and about yes they are or a white onion or green onion whatever kind of onion you like okay but I'm going to use this purple one, and I know it's a red onion, but I know that's its name, but it's purple for Pete's sake, right? I need me a garbage bowl that I did not get out. Okay, I got me a garbage bowl. I got a purple one for Rachel Ray. Right? Yes, I did. I finally found me one. And I'm going to use, well, I'm going to chop this whole entire onion. We'll see what we need to use. I don't really have like specific measurements, you know, because it just depends on how much onion flavor you like in your pico or not. And if you don't like jalapeno or lots of jalapeno, it just depends on how much you want to put. But in the description box on YouTube, I promise I'll put a recipe of what I make, okay? And then you can kind of tweak it to your, to your liking. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I took this onion, I halved him after I peeled it, and then I'm slicing into it, and I'm keeping my fingers out of the way, okay? I'm doing a two or three slices that way, then I come back this way, and I don't go all the way to the end of my onion. He's starting to make things sad in here. Woo! He's a nice, strong, purple onion, and I slice that way, but don't go all the way to the end. That way, it'll stay together for you. And now, I'll just chop it. And I like to do it small. Today being Taco Tuesday, I love to just kind of change it up. And I mean, you don't have to cook tacos on Taco Tuesday. But John and I really love Mexican flavors. So, I'm like, hey, I'm going to join the bandwagon. Let's do that Taco Tuesday. So, sometimes I'll make chicken verde. I need to link that in here too, don't I? I do. I'll, I'll link that video. Or at least put it in the description box. And sometimes I do just plain out tacos. I'll do enchiladas. I don't guess that's Taco Tuesday, but maybe I'm just making it Mexican flavors. Sometimes, let's see, what else do I do? Ground beef tacos, plain old ground beef tacos. So just make it. Make it your Taco Tuesday. It's probably not even Tuesday when you're watching this, huh? <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all saw that was a big old onion. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. It's very sad chopping onions. It sure is. Okay, y'all. That is plenty, plenty of onions. Let me push them to the side for our pico. Our beak of the rooster. <laughs> I read about that and it said the, the only reason they think, or one of the reasons they think that maybe beak of the rooster, pico de gallo, is because used to when you ate it, you would pick it up with your fingers like that and pinch it together to eat it, and it kind of looks like a beak, you know, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I have got to get those onions out from in front of my face because they are just, they're making me really sad. Y'all hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. I wasn't even planning on hopping on here with y'all, and I thought, well, you know what? Y'all like talking with me, and I love talking with y'all, so I said, I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. 
All right, y'all. Now, that is out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to chop some tomatoes. And I'm using grape tomatoes. I did not grow in the garden this year. I did last year. And I'm missing that. But I've got a lot going on this summer, so I'm just growing tomatoes only. I did enough jalapeno peppers to pickle last year that I got plenty for this year. So, I'm taking it easy this year garden-wise, but I have been working in my flower beds more because they get neglected when I'm doing my garden. So, every once in a while, I will do this. What I'm doing with these little grape tomatoes is I'm cutting them in half, and then I'm turning it and cutting that in half so I've got four little pieces like that, okay? And I'm going to do that with all of these little grape tomatoes. And then I'm going to hop back on here with y'all, and we are going to get this all together. Got all these beautiful little grape tomatoes chopped, or whatever kind of tomatoes y'all want to use. Roma, or any, any kind. They will work. I've never made a tomato I didn't just love, y'all. Me either. Me either. Okay, the only other thing, let's see. No, not the only other thing. I'm going to chop some of these pickled jalapenos that we made together last year out of the garden. We planted these together in the garden. Isn't that crazy? I know. And I'm going to do probably a heaping tablespoon or maybe a couple of teaspoons like that. And you do not have to do jalapeno if you do not want to. You sure do not. But it's good. It's good, and I'm going to really chop these small so we don't get a big bite. And something about pickling jalapenos makes them not quite as hot, too. So, um, But if you don't have any pickled jalapenos, absolutely, certainly use you a fresh jalapeno. And you might take out some of the seeds so it won't be quite as hot if you don't want it hot. Or leave those seeds in there if you like it nice and spicy. Yes, yes. Okay, y'all, we're going to start putting everything in here. We're going to put our two teaspoons of our jalapeno. And we are going to put all of our chopped tomatoes. I think that was a 10 or 12 ounce container, okay? And I'm not going to put all of this onion. That's a lot of onion. I'm going to put about half of that onion, okay? Okay, is that okay with y'all? <laughs> right? I know I'm silly. And let's see. Let's do a nice big pinch of salt. After all, none of this has any salt on it. Put that out of the way. And cilantro. And y'all, when I buy cilantro or parsley or any herb like this in the store, I bring it home on the day I prepped. I washed my tomatoes and I washed that container, put it back in there, put it in the refrigerator. That way when I get ready to cook, everything's clean for me. I washed all of this in my sink, you know, under the sprayer really good. And then I put it in the mason jar in water. See, like that? And then I actually put this in my refrigerator, and it will keep several more days than if you just bring it home and throw it in your fridge, you know, because it kind of hydrates it again. Um, but, I mean, buy good-looking cilantro in the store, okay? <laughs> I have a friend. She bought it, and it looked poor in the store, and she brought it home and told me it didn't improve it. I said, well, I'm not trying to improve it. I'm trying to maintain it. <laughs> She's so silly. I love her to death. I love her. Yes, I do. I'm going to get me a good bit of cilantro. You do as much or as little as you want, and some people don't like cilantro. Bless your little heart. My nephew Ashton, he says it tastes like soap, ain't Amy? And um, I love cilantro. They do like dried cilantro. And I have some, and it tastes a little bit different, but it also has a Mexican e flavor, Mexican e. And so, if you really dislike cilantro, you might could use the dried cilantro and not mind that flavor so much. And I like to leave mine kind of in big chunks like this, guys. That's going in to our pico de gallo. Now, the only thing we have missing, and let me wipe my hands. That drives me crazy. Does that drive y'all crazy? I can't stand it. 
Um, the only other thing is lime juice. That's what we need. And mine are small little limes. So I'm going to juice about two of them in here. And give me plenty, plenty of juice. Get that going. Pico de Gallo is so very good. That's what you get in the restaurant along with any, any entree you order just about, right? With some shredded lettuce. And it's very good. It's good just to dip chips in, honestly, it is. It's got a lot of the things that's in salsa, but it's chunkier. And salsa is more liquid and everything's much smaller, I guess, so. But it's that same flavor. But I like all the chunkiness, the big chunks. Okay, y'all. That lime juice went everywhere but the bowl, I do believe. Okay. Um, I did get something to stir with. I didn't know if I did or not. Yum. Yum, yum. This looks so good. I'm going to put it in a pretty bowl for y'all. And then I'm going to come show you. Let's put it pretty. You got to make it pretty, right? Yum, this is going to be so good on our Mexican lasagna tonight. Yes, it is. Or tacos, if you're making tacos. Or that chicken verde, if you're making that in the crock pot. Or whatever you are doing for your Mexican flavors. It will be good with it. Y'all see this up close? Isn't that beautiful? Y'all see the pop of color that the purple onion gives, so I love it, but you don't have to use it. I just I just love it. Okay, this is so close to guacamole. It just didn't even funny. Seriously, it is not. I'm going to use our same bowl, okay? And I'm going to take a couple of avocados. Again, I washed these the day... I came home from the grocery store, it was just a couple of days ago, we got back off vacation, and, and put them in the refrigerator, and now they're ready for me to use. How I get into an avocado is I put them like that, and I get my fingers out of the way, okay? I didn't used to do that, so I'm trying to preach that. Y'all practice what I'm preaching, not what I've done. And I'm going around, because there's a big old seed in there. There it is. And you can kind of just stab it like that. Throw that in my garbage bowl. Same thing. Get everything out of the way. I'm just going about halfway in and you'll hit that seed and then you can kind of just twist your, your avocado around like that. Again, I didn't go in about halfway so he's really stuck in there but he came out anyway. There we go. Okay guys, now what I do is score my avocado like that just to get it out easier. And I come back and cross score like that. Makes it, see how it's in all those little squares or shapes. And then I get me a big serving spoon and I just scoop it right out of there. It is perfect. Clean, clean as a whistle. And I'm gonna do it again on all of these. And y'all, this is the only other ingredient to make guacamole once we've made that pico de gallo. I'm going to put some of that in here. That's why I made a pretty big bowl for just John and me. He likes the pico, but he does not like guacamole. And I have learned through the years to make stuff for myself instead of just not doing it. I've done that for so many years. <laughs> I think I turned 50 and was like, Amy, when are you going to start making stuff you like? You know, hello, hello. So, I'm making stuff I like. The only other thing I'm going to do is squeeze another lime in here so these avocados won't oxidize and turn brown on me. I want to make sure they have plenty of citric acid on them. And I have heard before that you can put those avocado seeds in your guacamole and it helps it not turn. But I tried it and I really didn't notice that it did anything. So, I'm not going to do that today. I tried that one time with y'all. It's been a long time back. Okay. Like I said, that's the only thing I'm going to do is add more lime juice. Just like this. And 
something I love to do. Where is my towel? Can I get my hands wiped back off? Something I love to do is use a potato masher. It is perfect for making your guacamole. See this? I mean, it's perfect. And this little thing mostly just stays in the drawer or in my canisters, my utensil holder. So I love to find something else for it to do. Yes, I do. <laughs> And the only other thing, I may add just another pinch of salt because that avocado has no salt on it. And that'll just enhance the flavor too, just like that lime did. See how that squished it up? I mean, perfect. And I didn't even have to work with it much at all. Okay, y'all, now we will take some of this guacamole. Guacamole, yeah. We're going to take some of this pico de gallo, Amy. Yes, get it straight, get it straight, girl. And y'all see? I mean, I've got... Now I've got guacamole, just that easy. So um, make your pico, and then you can you can make guacamole too, just that quickly. Mm. We need a tortilla chip, yes we do. You know I'm gonna get one. It is so 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 stinking pretty. Now know we gotta put it in here though. We gotta make it even prettier, right? Yes. Because y'all know all this food's got to go for a photo shoot, right? <laughs> for my thumbnail. My thumbnail picture for these videos. One of y'all told me, I think it was my strawberry pie, creamy dreamy strawberry pie, that uh, y'all strictly watch the video because of the thumbnail. And I love that. I love that feedback because... I mean, it goes a lot into just taking a picture of your food to make people want to watch your video, you know? They may say, ooh, that doesn't look good. And then I love to put some of this right on top just so you can see what all's in there. I'm going to show y'all and I'm going to get us a tip. Then it look good. Yum. Okay, now I got us a tortilla chip. This is the part that I want so badly to hand y'all a bite. So badly. Oh, I do. I really do. <laughs> oh, that needs nothing but some more chips. <laughs> I'm going to have to cover this and put this up, y'all. But anyway, I wanted to show you how close you are to guacamole when you make pico de gallo and i hope you make these for your taco tuesday night i'm gonna get these covered in, in the refrigerator and then i'm gonna check on our mexican casserole okay so i'll see y'all next time 